Coach Marjean here. We are going to look at cleaning up your friends list. The first step that you will want to do is you will want to download your friends list. Step one, go to your personal profile. Up in the upper right corner of the toolbar, you will see this carrot, this V looking um, icon, and it says account, and you're going to click on it. And then you're going to go to set settings and privacy. And then you're going to go to settings. And then you're going to go over to your Facebook information. And you're going to open that up. And then you're going to say that I want to download my information. And you're going to go over to the right and you're going to look at it. It says view. And now you're going to have this information up here that says download your information. You can download a copy of your Facebook information at any time. You can download a complete copy, or you can select only the types of information and date ranges that you want. You can choose to receive your information in HTML format that is easy to view, or a JSON format, which could allow another service to more easily import it. Downloading your information is a password protected process that only you will have access to. And once you copy, once your copy has been created, it will be available for download for a few days. And if you'd like to view your information without downloading it, you can access your information at any time. So we are going to go down here and what I'm looking for is I'm looking for my friends. Now, if you scroll through here, you'll see all kinds of check marks here. But the only thing that I'm interested in right now are my friends, the people that I am connected with on Facebook. I might want to also get a list of people that I'm following and people that are following me. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to uncheck what I do not want to download. So I want my friends and I want my following and followers. I do not want any of this other information. Now, as you're working on the process that you're using for could be content creation. It could be connecting with the right audience. You may want to come back in here at a later time and choose other information that you would like to extract. The more information you extract, the longer it's going to take for Facebook to build that file for you. So I'm not looking at any of this. I don't care about any of this information other than the friends list and the um, followers, people that I'm following and people that I'm friends with. So I have two different sections here that I want to extract. Now, I'm going to choose the format that I want. And I want the JSON because I want it to go into a CSV file so that I can extract it or make it into an Excel file. Now, as you can see here, I extracted my friends and my followers back in uh, October of 2020, and it's expired. So I'm going to delete that one. Okay, and I'm going to go over here, and I am going to request a copy, and I'm going to create a file of those items that I've asked for. It says a copy of your information is being created. Your copy may contain more than one file, depending on how much information that you request. 
Okay, so we're gonna have to wait for that. And where it'll show up is over here under this bell where the notifications are. It'll pop up when I have what I need, okay? So when I get what I need, then what I like to do is I like to convert it over into a Excel file, or you can use a Google, uh, I think it's called Google Docs, and uh, it's like a Google Sheet, which is the equivalent to a spreadsheet or an Excel spreadsheet. And I have my contact information that I had previously extracted. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find it here and show you. Then I open it up as an Excel file. And I will work that Excel file. So I'm going to pause. So as you can see, I have a Facebook friends list. This is the list that I exported back in October. So once Facebook notifies you that your file is ready, then you can go ahead and open it and save it as an Excel document if you have Office 365. Or you could save it as a Google Sheet if you have a Gmail account and can save it as a Google Sheet, which is equivalent to Excel. So we're gonna get this to open up and take a little bit here. So my document has opened up and as you can see, I start this uh, Excel file that I downloaded from Facebook in October. It'll give me my friend's name. It'll give me the date that my friend was actually added as my friend in Facebook. And what I like to do is I like to go to the bottom of the list because I want to start with the oldest friends that I have, okay? So here, these were back in May of 2009, and I just kind of perused through here. And I'm just gonna do an X mark here because I know who these people are. Um, and I'm just gonna check them off as, yeah, I wanna keep them. Um, um, you know, some of these are church members and they're local people. This is my sister. This is uh, another church member. And I don't want to lose these people, but I might want to think about creating a private friends list. If I'm doing some marketing techniques on Facebook, on my personal profile and talking about things that um, I know they're not interested in. Okay and uh, exclude them from anything that I am doing on a personal level for business purposes. Okay, so that's what I'm doing, just going through here. I know who these people are. And I love to do this because then that helps me to understand my audience. And if I can say out of the uh, 1,500 or 1,600 people that are my friends, these I do know personally. And they are not necessarily a good viable prospect, but I really don't want to remove them from my list because I still stay in touch with them. And I know they don't care about what I'm doing business-wise, but they're not giving me a bad time about what I'm doing business-wise either. And, um, and that will also help me to understand out of the total number of um, friends that I do have, who's left as a viable prospect. So that's what I would recommend that you go through your friends list and just to, you know, check them off here as people that you actually know, you know who they are and you know why you're their friend. And you know, you know, this is, again, I'm just doing this just as for my benefit that these are family members, close relatives, close friends, um, children, my children, my grandchildren, so on and so forth. Uh, past employer, coworkers, um, 
And these are people that I know for a fact are probably not going to be interested in what I have to offer. They're not going to be interested in my opportunity, but I still want them connected. Okay. All right. So that's pretty much who um, are my close friends, close connections uh, in the community that I live in. Oh, let's see, I think I was doing that over here. <clears throat> so then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this recording so that you guys can do this step one where you can extract your friends list, get them into an Excel document, go through it and make some kind of a mark of the people that are your relatives, your neighbor, uh, local community people that you're friends with so that you know the next step will be prospecting. And um, I will see you guys on the next step. Thanks so much for being here.